That is not pink bubble bath. People who live along Onion Creek say it's proof that what gets dumped into the water eventually ends up coming out of the tap. And that's why people have gathered this evening at the Patagonia store in downtown Austin. They've got a hashtag, no dripping sewage, and a petition asking for a ban on dumping treated sewage into creeks above the Trinity Aquifer. As KXAN's Lauren Landman explains, residents want to see the city do a little more research. I thought it was some kind of poison coming from our house or our pipes at first. This is what the water at Sharon Darley's house looked like back in December. Pepto-Bismol colored pink <laughs> coming out of our sinks, our, our faucets, um, the water out here at the barn. Sharon's well water comes from the Trinity Aquifer. The pink tint came from a dye trace test to see how surface water in Onion Creek recharges the aquifer. For local advocates, the results show whatever's in the creek will flow into homes. This is a public health issue. This affects our public drinking water and our private drinking water. To keep up with the growing population, the city is seeking a discharge permit from the state that would allow them to dump one million gallons of treated wastewater a day into the creek. We think that there are avenues, contingency plans that can be put in place to make sure that we can protect not just the creek, but our entire community's drinking water. In a statement, the mayor says the city doesn't plan to discharge any water into the creek and are committed to reusing 100% of the water for things like irrigation. You want some water? The permit provides for a last resort. Homeowners like Sharon don't want it to be an option at all. They're saying that they're not going to use that unless they need to, but there's no limits on what, you know, need to means. So there needs to be a plan put in place, more studies done. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. Dripping Springs expects to be in a contested case hearing sometime in late summer. The permit will be issued by the TCEQ within six months from the start of the hearing. For some comparison, the city of Austin's two major wastewater treatment plants release about 100 million gallons of treated water per day into the Colorado River south and east of Austin.